Jehovah war over our bodies. But the true bell of liberty, she does not mute easily, long may she reign. Her echoes will amplify marching till morning light, all gender side by side till freedom. Take out a 
loan to pay for this procedure. She said, good riddance to a bad leg. <laughs> I opened the apartment door and there's my roommate nursing with my grand. She asked me if I cut lucky. This is our last shot. Literally ends. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I wanted to laugh. There were mornings where we compared amazing hookups. Felt like it was taking forever. She always knows how to cheer me up. This just was not one of those mornings we had been trying for so long. I deleted his pictures off his home. I told her what happened, and she told me I should go to the campus police. We put all of our literal eggs into the proverbial basket. I took them off my Instagram. I took a shower and immediately felt his hands. And was that a white mark? I know I said no. And, oh my god. All I remember are these flashes, flashes of memory and flashes. Is there a camera? <laughs> I did say no. I know for a fact that I was right. We keep counting down and down and down until the phone will ring with positive results. And I deleted our TikTok videos, but it still kisses me off. go to the campus police. This guy could be sitting right in front of me and I would have no fucking idea. I, I just don't know what to do. If this doesn't take, we've already decided we are done. My friend says he doesn't deserve me. If it'll work him, then I move on. I have no idea I don't even know if he goes to this school. And that one horrible night was ruining my entire life. And if I was wanting to do anything, if I wanted to keep my scholarship, I had to do what I had to do. We keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, I missed my period. Sarah missed her period! I, I text my friend and she got me a test. I finally went to the clinic on campus. We took five tests. Five. I, I, I don't want to get our hopes up. Two fucking lines. Jesus Christ, we used protection. You're just about five weeks along, the doctor said. I'm afraid to breathe. Condoms, they're 98% effective. And me? And that other fucking 2%. I can barely take care of myself and all this. I don't want to make some. Oh God, I'm so full of bars. I I tell my friend, but I waited another two weeks before I told my mom. I go back and forth and back and forth for two weeks. Okay, then it's finally, finally time for the doctor. Yeah. Twins run in Sarah's family. I know, I know, I know, I know you're not supposed to, I know you're not supposed to look at the baby books until you have the confirmation that the embryos have taken, but God, we start looking at baby names. We just have this I don't know, this feeling that the, the baby's room is already decorated. We just, we just feel it. Mom, you need to sit down. Mom, you have to sit down. Sarah, Elise, you need to sit down. I'm pregnant. I, I was raped. Sarah has cancer? 
my mom had me at 18. I don't want that. No, I, I know, I don't need to hear it. I was responsible, I practiced safe sex. Maybe the condom was old. I don't know, it happened. I'm pregnant and I'm getting an abortion. I, I'm only seven weeks along. I just really don't want to be home. Sarah, Sarah needs chemo. This is an ABC News special report. Good morning. We're coming on the air with breaking news from the Supreme Court at this hour. The justice is handing down the highly anticipated ruling on abortion and the fate of the landmark Roe versus Wade decision. This is a majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito, very close to what was leaked several weeks back. The justice is saying, we hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. You're telling me right now, as of 10 a.m. June 24, 2022, I now am not allowed to decide what's right for my body? I say we immediately terminate the pregnancy and get started with the chemo. Sarah's mother died of ovarian cancer. Your state is forcing me to have it. Is our governor going to pay for its care? Is he going to come over and watch it while I'm in school? Yeah, I call it it. See, I took science class. I'm not calling an embryo a baby. What happened to the separation between church and state? Yes. Yes, this, this was our last chance, but I can't lose Sarah. We have no other option. She has to have a medically necessary abortion. I don't even have a job. I'm a sophomore in high school. How am I supposed to support a baby? So, I can't have an abortion, but my rapist can claim parental life rights of that child? Seriously, what judge in their right mind would give a rapist access to a child? This is not happening. My doctor won't help me. I'll just go to Planned Parenthood. What do you mean they're paying people to report women in this situation? They're, they're turning women away? Anyone on my medical team could be fined $10,000 just for helping me. This is a medical emergency. She needs the abortion to start the chemo. You value a microscopic clump of cells more than my living, breathing wife. Friends on TikTok are telling me to come along with their state for a camping trip. Apparently, I have cousins all over the country who are willing to help me, and they're going to take me to a uh, special doctor when I'm not feeling well. I will fight whoever the hell I need to, even those SCOTUS conservatives who push this shit through. This is my wife you're talking about. These babies, these cells, they're not even babies yet. My wife is real. And she needs this abortion to save her life. Not every girl dreams of being a mother. How about reversible vasectomies for all persons with dicks before they enter middle school? That would stop most, if not all, future unwanted pregnancies. Oh. You don't, you don't like that idea? Am I overstepping? No judge or politician belongs in my interest. You were saved because six conservatives made a decision that impacts millions of people with uteruses. My wife, my wife can't give her treatment. You are sentencing Sarah to death. Because we're visiting friends out of state. Stop calling yourselves pro-life. You are not pro-life. You're pro-work. Where are you hypocrites after the work, huh? That's when the mother you forced to have this baby against her will really needs you. Oh, right. I know. You're voting into office more politicians who are eager to condemn us and refuse to help. How are you going to force me to have a 
fucking days before I can get my driver's license. Waving your signs and your Bibles around, spouting your hateful rhetoric, calling us murderers for making the most difficult decision of our lives. And no matter what law you try to impose to govern my body, it is always my body and my life and my decision. We don't give anything. We don't give anything to have these babies. You have no idea how horrible How unimaginable, life-shattering this is without your fucking judgment. Forcing Sarah to go full term with this baby without her treatment is sentencing my wife to death. I read about this in history class, you know. In the 50s, Men were used coat hangers or go to back alley, unlicensed doctors, and die. I can't believe this is what? The 21st century? And we're reverting back to my grandma's time. I don't I don't even know what to say anymore because our state is one of 13 that have trigger laws, meaning that abortion, 100 percent illegal, even in instances of rape, incest. The health of the mother? This is starting to feel like every bad dystopian novel. <laughs> Except it's real. We're being forced to look through it. Treated like we have no right to make any decision that's right for us without government interference? <coughs> Maybe we'll wake up. And this will all just have been a really bad dream. <laughs> This is life for a female in 2022. But where there's a will, oh, there's a way. This is brutally unfair. I was responsible. Why am I being punished? I just don't want to give birth to my rapist child. I don't want my wife to die for your antiquated grasp of a woman's autonomy. <laughs> you know, it's funny. <laughs> Not funny. If men could get pregnant, abortions would be available at every fucking gym. <laughs> what happened to my rights? I want to know what happened between the separation of church and state and why fanatical evangelicals are telling me anything about my body. Especially what I'm supposed to do with my body. I guess me and mom are going on a camping trip with some friends from TikTok. You know, I, I really could use a vacation, you know, maybe Colorado or California. We're already packed. My body, my body, my body.